All right, welcome to another episode from The Chart Reader. So today we will be looking at the EV and charging sector. We're gonna do the same thing we always do, right? We're gonna look at the daily and the weekly to see what's setting up short term. We have our five moving averages, these horizontal support and resistance lines that I do manually draw myself. And then when we're done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Again, 80% of the work is up here, 20% of the work is down here. It really, really is about these moving averages and breaking the lines. And then, you know, we use these as the, we'll almost say how to sort out the good ones or even just kind of that double confirmation of what we're seeing up here. But really 80% of the work legitimately is up here. So look, let's get into it, right? Tesla. I talk about the eight moving average being my rule number one, and I think we can very easily see it here. Look how much I zoom out on Tesla, right? So we go horizontal, we go horizontal, and I always say it, you're either violently gonna go up and it's a beautiful thing, or you're gonna go down really, really hard. And I mean, this thing pretty much went from 300 to below 150. This has dropped 50% in, I mean, two and a half months, three months, right? That's a, a relatively crazy thing, but I mean, it would have been avoidable, right? And it, and it starts with the eight moving average. So again, we're going under, we're going under. You'll hear me say, once things get bad, it starts to become, let's break the 20 before I'm even gonna really be interested, right? And you see it, right? Once you're about a month under the eight, yeah, break the 20 for me to believe, and we get a fail right there, just a bunch of trading under the eight, fail right there under the 20 and then a whole mess of trading under the eight, right? And where are we now? We're in the beginning of January. There's a little baby attempt to get over the eight. It couldn't even get over the eight, right? There, was, there wasn't even a fake out and we're back down under, right? Look, this RSI is 23. I always say 30 is really low. For Tesla to be down here, it's pretty crazy actually. And look, I it seems like we've been down here before. We've been in this kind of, actually this RSI on this day was 21 as well. So I mean, this, this is as low as Tesla is really known to be for an RSI. Does that mean this is as, as sold as it's gonna get, it's gonna bounce up? Maybe, you know, I could maybe see it breaking the eight and running to the 20. Do I think we're gonna break the 20? I don't know. You know, this is one, this is two. Hey, maybe number three is gonna be enough, but like, let's even just say we got over the 20. We haven't even remotely tested the 50 yet, right? So there's still a lot of reason for me to be negative and look, you're under one, two, three, four, five. There's only, you're under all five moving averages. That's a horrible, horrible place to be. You wanna be up here. You do not wanna be down here, right? So again, maybe there'll be a run from the eight to the 20. Obviously I need two days in a row over the eight for me to even think about it, right? In all sincerity, I don't know, where's this one? We'll probably see it on the weekly. I would not touch this stock until right here. I'm actually gonna put a line right here and we'll see if I'm gonna delete that 127 shortly. But if we can break, let's just round it to 123, look at all that red right there. I would much rather break 123, that'll put us well over the eight, and hopefully I'm just gonna get a nice little down fill, a down trend gap fill to 150. I'll take 122 to 150 all day, right? That's definitely 20% right there, beautiful thing. Even if this thing stops us, that's probably, yeah, that's almost still another 10% right there, right? So um, again, I'm here to kind of stress the look for simple trading and look for those signals that say, don't put money into this. Why, look, and I'm gonna say one thing real quick. I don't like talking about averaging down. I actually sincerely hate averaging down. I'm sure there were people that said, hey, this thing's a deal at 300. This thing's a deal at 250. This thing's a deal at 215. This thing's a deal at 200. This thing's a deal at 150. This thing's a deal, at, you know what I mean? Like you could have literally doubled the amount of shares here if you bought it right now and you waited. And I still don't even think it might even be the over yet, right? Because let's go to the weekly. If I'm not mistaken, I think I set my target. Yeah, I thought we were coming down to the 80s the last time I made this video, right? We've. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this 127 line is what I'm gonna do. Let's delete that one. Ah, oh, I got rid of the wrong one. Can I control Z? 
I can't control Z. All right, so I'll make that again when we go back. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one. We're gonna move it to the 123, right? But we're basically now, oh, let's just make the line from right here. That's super easy. Hell yeah, great. Look, 123.33, that's a beautiful number. That's a little bit higher than that 122.99 we were just at. But yeah, if we can break this, again, look, a bunch of reds, that'll take us to 155. I love it when the daily and the weekly say the same number. It seems realistic, and you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and set an alert at that 123.23, let's do it. I'd love to, to see that happen. However, I still think we're on the high side of this channel. We're gonna at least work our way to about halfway. I think this is gonna hit that hundo. What's the top of this guy? This, okay, on July 10th, 2020, this thing closed at 102.98, we'll call it 103. I can very easily see us hitting 103. And actually, it looks like the wick did we wick 103 already? What was the low here? The low was 104. So it was real close to that 103, right? So yeah, we might even come to the bottom of this guy, which is sitting at 96.94. All right. So um, yeah, I'm still looking pessimistic here. And one more time, I know it sounded like a great deal at 300. I know it sounded like a great deal at 229. I know it sounded like a great deal at 200. You pretty much could have saved all your money that time and bought maybe double, a little more than double the amount of shares if you just follow the eight. And look, we're looking at the weekly right now and I haven't talked, we've now lost the 200. We're definitely well below all of them. This is a death cross, okay? When a lower one goes under a big one, that's bad. It's called a death cross. How bad of a name is that, right? We wanna see golden crosses when it goes above it, okay? It looks like this 20 is ready to go down as well. We've now seen the 50 death cross the 100, right? 50 just went under that. So there's a lot of reason that this thing says there's still a bunch of bad weeks happening. Yeah, we might get one of these little bumps up, little bumps up, but yeah, I think we're gonna see a bunch more reds behind it so um nasdaq is still the ugliest of the three right and you know you, you no stock will beat the major markets if nasdaq's bad tesla can only do so much you know what i mean so all that said again there's there's room and you saw me set the alert i'd love to trade 120 120 to 150 rounding right but a lot needs to happen before i think that but Red, 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 red will eventually turn to green, 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 green. You've said me say that. You've heard me say that so, so many times. That was a long Tesla. Okay, Ford. Oh, I have. I did not know this was happening. Damn. Oh, I'm really, I, I am sincerely sad. Okay, so what's happening now? I mean, honestly, I, yeah, I want to know if, if this bad, boy, just, just, go a little bit higher than where we're at today. Okay, damn, you can tell I did not know this happened. So look, Ford was a beast. Ford was one of the first real good long sustaining buy recommendation, not that I ever will tell you to buy recommendation, like this is not financial advice, you know that, right? But on, on stock twits, on a couple of the things, I, I clicked bullish on Ford and it beautifully rode above the eight, hits the 200, starts going parallel and then quickly, quickly loses the eight, right? This is what, this is nice. And how low did the RSI get? How low did it get? 21, again, and that's that's the 21 that we just read on, on Tesla, right? But yeah, eventually, 30 is generally oversold, right? Um, this was definitely going horizontal and then this definitely started to go down. I like that it was able to hit the 20 so quickly. It does look like the green is looking good, the green is looking good, and volume's getting there. Am I showing, oh, let me show, hold on, regular data. Okay, it didn't change it much, beautiful. Um, yeah, we've broken the 20, we've broken this 12, 13. It really seems, honestly, I'm gonna set, I just set the alert, I'll also set one here though just in case the first one misses. But um, yeah, it seems like this red, 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 red wants to turn into green, 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 like we just said, right? Good amount of reason to believe this is gonna come to the 50. Do I believe this is gonna break these three lines? I, I don't know if technicals alone will do it. A good amount of volume, a good green above red, starting to look green above red, and let's be honest, Earnings should be right around the corner, right? We just finished Q4. So, I mean, you know, let's see. Earnings can obviously do crazier things with these technicals, right? But at the moment, it seems logical that this is going to come maybe to the 100, right? Let, first, it should come to this guy, the bottom of this guy, which is actually pretty much the 50. So, it should come to the 50 around 13. 
okay? Because again, we're, we should just be filling, filling, filling to here. From there, these are enough. And again, there's still a bunch of red right here, right? It's only these two guys to believe, hey, maybe we'll break the 50, test the 100. I don't know if we'll test the 200, but yeah, I think we might get a wick to the 100 right there. Either way, there's a lot of room right there. So this is really interesting and I sincerely regret not seeing this. Break the eight right there, good confirmation the day after, I would have set a stop by right there, okay? I, I for, what's the top of this at, and don't get me wrong, I see I would have bought and probably lost a little bit, but even this day is still good because we're still well over the eight, we're trading even at the close under this one. And then again, once it gaps up from there, it's up. But this this is where I would have entered if I if I actually knew it and I would have loved these last two days. It happens, it happens, right? I, I don't have the ability to look everywhere, right? Like I said, this stuff is not edited. I do not know what a lot of these charts look like before I turn them on and hopefully that helps you a lot, right? But one more time, I am bullish on Ford right here. Beautiful, right? You you hit the 200, you come up, you hit this, you hit the 200, you're able to bounce up. Do I think we're gonna get over these two? I, I actually don't. What's, what's this one at? Come on, dude, I hate when they don't have the lines. This one's at 1321, right? I'd still probably set the stop loss at, at stop sell at 13. I'm not gonna get greedy for 20 cents, right? But yeah, I think a bounce up to th one of these two is realistic. If earnings are good, maybe we'll come up here again. But um, yeah, look, this is beautiful, natural. Look at look how many, we've already bounced on this three times. We've gone boom, 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 right? I mean, look, earnings needs to be good to take us up. Otherwise, bad earnings, we're losing the 200, right? So just keep that in mind. But again, the daily is actually stacking up really nicely. I love it. And again, hopefully we're gonna red, red, red gap fill right there. Um, Ford, nice. Ford, Ford, Ford. Mullen's been the story, but I'm not gonna lie. Ford makes me a little happier than Mullen. I put some comments in the video because I knew I was unable to, to make um, videos, right? There's a few things that I wanna talk about. What, what I, this day right here, especially the third, okay? This looked like it should have flown, okay? And this day ends up being a doji and you would have been able to catch it on the weekly. The weekly, 32 cents, I, I, I'm pretty sure it was 32 cents at the time. This Look, I, I don't think it's like moved that much, but let's even say 36 cents, whatever. I don't know why 32 comes to mind. If you look at the weekly, Mullen has not been over the 20 moving average since when? What time is this? Since November, okay, of 2021. It's been more than a year. I felt that this thing was gonna be a natural resistance and you would not have seen it on the daily because from here, once you break this, the assumption is just red, red, red gap fill, right? So you really needed to look at the other one. And I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure it was 32 cents. I don't know why that's in my head. But once we broke that number, there that's where it really flew. And look, I've said it a bunch of times. Volume is king. If you can get some volume over that 50 moving average, it'll it'll do some amazing things. And honestly, the fact that the this day's volume was over the 50 is why this doji didn't end down. It, that's a horrible wick down. And it took a lot of volume and a lot of buying to take it back up. And then obviously it went from there, right? Today being the best day. Because again, right? One day over the 50 doesn't count. One more day of confirmation, you get the big bang. I know I know it sounds silly when I say wait for confirmation, but I'm telling you, I'm not saying it for nothing, all right? And the losses hurt more than the wins, all right? So waiting for confirmation and, and avoiding a loss feels so much better than like missing. I'm, I'm telling, I just, I, from my experience at least. Nonetheless, this daily is looking good. However, that's a big spike in volume. The last thing I want is volume to come back down here. Okay, we must hold 400 million, 415 million. I would love 600 million. This thing has given us 650 million, okay? 625 if you look at the actuals, right? But this thing, Mullen is a beast. The Mullen is one of the number one highest volume ones daily and it's crazy. I don't even like, I don't know if they have any cars or not. I'm telling you, I know nothing fundamentally about them. I just know if we break this 100 
and we get confirmation, the next place I'm expecting to go is the 200, okay? There may be a place, because look, we failed the 50, failed the 50. This is the first real 50 win, right? We might come down, but hopefully we would never come down any lower than the eight, right? So as the eight keeps going, but look, oh man, I didn't even say it. We got a golden cross right here on the daily. That's beautiful. The eight broke up on the 50, lower above. That's a, that is a, a good thing. I do want one more day confirmation though of getting over the hundred. Cause again, let me zoom back out. Damn, even longer. All the way to here, same November actually. So November, it's, it's been a long time since we've been over this blue line, all right? So the fact that we did it this one time, this one day, don't mean much, okay? Let's do it again tomorrow. RSI's at 70. I, I'm still comfortable with an RSI at 70, okay? We've seen some around the 90s lately. It's been a little crazy, honestly. But yeah, there's no reason that this can't go up to 77, 78, 82 even before I start to worry. But really, the number one thing for me is going to be volume. Hold 4, 4 million 15, okay? Give me 600. Give me more volume than today. Show it to me, right? But I'll be honest, I don't know if the, I believe the computers are doing things, right? But I don't know if the algorithms do believe we're gonna break the 100. Human volume might help, right? Mullen's a beast. Oh man, look at that. Same translation is pretty much the 20 on the weekly, okay? We tried the 20 here once. We actually wicked it here once, but the candle doesn't look like it got over it. We actually opened the month before, right? So look, open is 150. Average 20 is 148. Clearly we closed well under it, so the under doesn't matter. But hey, we wicked and over it, I'll take it. So we've at least had a couple tests. We've really only had one real test, but um, yeah, this has been a good week. This looks nice on the weekly too, right? This kind of makes me think, hey, in a couple weeks, we might be coming back up to a dollar, right? And look, if this thing can crack 52, Bunch of red to fill the green, right? I'm telling you, 52 to 78 is almost a 50% bang. I think that is actually, yeah, that's a that's a 50 banger right there, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and set an alert at 52. I for sure wanna know when that bad boy happens. And that's a beautiful thing on the weekly, right? But one more time, that's not bad, that's not bad. Look at that, three, let's even go further. We've got five out of seven days, all of them over volume average. Most of them buys. I like it, right? Weekly looks good. Daily looks good. I'll take it. NASDAQ looks bad. Tesla looks bad. Um, Ford and Mullen doing well. Real interesting, actually. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I expect, I didn't expect anything aside from Mullen to look pretty good. Um, interesting. Damn, that really sucks. LIDAR, good day over, good day over, but just doesn't deliver the day after. Um, I think we're in all-time lows, right? Look, all-time lows is a bad place to be. And I'm really surprised there wasn't a gap fill from 54 all the way up to the 78, I'll be honest. I really think that this thing is just kind of struggling down in all-time lows. You can see, I'm gonna zoom in a bunch. It's been a long time since we've had anything near the 50. These two are definitely under it because I definitely see more white than the red that they were, but um, if anything, the only ones that have been close to it or over it have been red, right? So LiDAR really needs a little bit of volume. Volume's king and technicals can only do so much if there's not enough volume, right? If you're on the sidewalk with the best product in the world but no one's walking by you, I mean, volume is king, right? So same thing with the stocks, just do believe it. However, there is reason to believe that there's a little gap fill to be had and I'm gonna set an alert at 60. Again, an alert is not an immediate buy notification, but yeah, if that breaks, I wanna see what things look like because that should fill up to 78 there. Maybe we'll stop here, but again, 60 to 68, still a little more than 10%. Hey, I'll take that, right? So, um, LiDAR, horrible, horrible weekly, okay? Obviously, look, it's, it's we're a couple days in. This is pretty nice to see, but um, we do want more than one week, but hey, if this one ends well, it's done a nice little follow-up afterwards, right? But definitely well under the 20. There's there's more bad than good on this chart, I will say that. And honestly, the last two um, seemed a little stronger for sure, for sure. Evigo, Evigo, dang. Okay, and look, 
what we j that, and that's kind of why I wasn't happy with LiDAR, right? Because, yeah, we might get a good break of the 8, but again, are we really going to get to the 20? I don't really know, right? And look, this was only one day. I know this is a nice day and this looks good behind it, but this was the first day over the 8, right? This definitely sucks. By no means is a good confirmation. I, I see that it's over the 8, right? But I talk about 50% candle every now and then too, right? So and then you can see the, the days after it. Again, just look at the volume. I mean, literally four days of green and then a sweeping amount of red and most of the red is well over the white line, right? So um, no bueno, no bueno on EV Go. Um, definitely, I think this might be the worst weekly we've seen on all of them, right? And it, are we at all time? Yeah, the, no, horrible. Mm, EV Go, I'm sorry. This is just, you know, I'm not here to bash, you know that, but yeah, if we lose, if we lose this bad boy, we lose 375, it's gonna go even lower. So, um, Neo, let's come to Neo. So, there has been movement on the Chinese stocks. Again, that has me ready. I'm gonna go and set an alert. What's this one? I'm gonna set the alert. Let's set the alert right here. Why not? I'm not, nah. no, I don't wanna get, man. Okay, what's this? Yeah, I'll do it at 63. No, come on. All right, we're going to go here. We're going to set an alert. Oh, they're not going to let me. All right, that's what happens. All right, my alert's now at 11.69. But I would really maybe be interested. Okay, I'll set an alert right here. Let's do the first one right there. I'll be curious. If we can get over these two lines, okay, there's a good reason to believe we might be coming here, right? That's, again, how this works. If you can break these, you're supposed to work your way up. There was definitely a good downtrend. Now looks like we've taken two good days over the eight. I like both days. Are we over this? Not just yet. I don't care about the break of the 50. Get me over this one as well. Get me over both. You know, from there, I definitely would want one more day confirmation and that might put me over this line. And then from there, I'm hoping we go up here, right? Again, I don't like to use the word hope. I like to use the word technical, technical analysis and stuff like that, right? But I, I think you're reading between the lines, okay? But one more time, the Chinese stocks seem to be moving. This is definitely in that boat. No, no pun intended. I'm not trying to be racist, I swear. But like, you know, if, if the sector goes, so do the stocks. And though this is an EV one, NEO is part of that Chinese sector, right? So I'm very, very interested in this one. I'm very interested in Lee, the one right after. And again, I don't care about it until we break these two lines. And then that'll get me, you know, salivating for the 100, which is definitely what 30 40% up there right i'm let's say 30% right from 11 to to 14 so what does the weekly look like look the weekly doesn't look good so by no means do i think it's sustained there's a little bit of peaking going on on all of them but again definitely well under the 8 definitely not been over the 20 for a quick minute we just went horizontal and vomited out right so i care a little bit more about this daily movement I very easily can see this being a stop. I can very easily see this being a stop or maybe a, a little closer to right here. Excuse me, around 13, uh, 1250. But yeah, I mean, there's, there's potentially a play here and there's potentially a big play if they move again. So just keep that in mind. Lee, oh, Lee looks a lot better. So Lee is already over both lines. Lee broke this and gave us nice confirmation. Where's my 200 at? It's here, right? So are we over this guy yet? 24, a, a, a low 24 might give you a little resistance, but yeah, right now it seems like we're coming to basically 25, right? My, my line is tw just under 25. What's the 200 actually at? 2560 so we might even come to 2550 in all honesty right give a little tester just under it so um yeah lee um i would like to know when we crack the bottom of this guy i'm gonna that's in, that that's gonna be an interesting place for me so um cool let's do that what does the weekly look like nice i imagine it look a little bit better right do i think we're gonna get over both these lines i don't does it look like it's around that 2550 number that we set over there? Yeah, this one actually gives us a little higher one of 2580, right? I'd stick with 2550 a little bit lower. Don't get greedy, right? That's not the game. But hey, if we break these two lines, that will be real interesting because from there, there's actually no 200. This has not been trading for 200 weeks. You can see just 
right here was the hundredth week, right? So we have a hundred more weeks to go before we get that. So breaking that 25, what is it, 27 area will actually put us over all of them on the weekly. And that's a beautiful, beautiful thing for sure. So Lee and Neo, give them a look. Lee looks a little better than Neo for sure. Polestar, coming into Polestar. Oh, interesting. Okay, another one. You can tell I have not really been looking at this EV sector because again, NASDAQ's looking good and I'm, I'm generally in the boat of, hey, if, if the NASDAQ's not looking good, I'm not going to really do much. I'll be honest. I have a little bit in Mullen. I don't like to tell people when I'm actually in a trade, but yeah, Mullen, I did well. I actually pulled out all of my initial buy. I'm just letting free money ride and I'm actually thinking about scalping a little bit of my free money tomorrow morning just I'm there's no reason to give up money if it goes down right but hey if it keeps going I'm super happy if it goes down I'm beyond ready to sell because again I'm just I'm trading beyond comfortably right here right and that's a good place to be this again kind of reminds what does Ford look like this this look better than Ford yeah I mean actually I, I think I like Ford a little bit more Okay, why did I look at that again? I just wasn't sure what the moving averages look like. This one's interesting. Okay, so look, we break the eight right here really massively and hit the 50, 20 cluster, right? I always say it's really difficult to break too, right? It's funny, it kind of let the cluster open up on this D cluster and that helped it, right? It was able to just kind of really quickly capture the 20, retake the 20 and then, did this actually break the 50? Five, four, nine. This one landed right on it, so that's not a break. This one was a break, but look, red, 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 and where are we compared to this one? We broke that line, I like that. A lot of reason to believe this should be coming up to six. Maybe 590 will be a little bit of a resistance if you wanna set something for that, but kind of looks like we're gonna see a golden cross too, but um, yeah, let's, if, if this thing can break the 50, and look, let's, I'm gonna zoom out a bit, we've, come down trading well under both. We then go up, we break the 50 for the first time here. We definitely almost break the 100. We come down, lose the 20 and lose the 50. And now we're coming back, right? So I'm hoping, honestly, we hit this, then come back down and hit, obviously if we break it even better, but I would love to bounce off the 50. We kind of did it here, for two days, right? But it wasn't really a good bounce, right? It definitely didn't stop the bleeding and didn't get us over the eight, right? But now that the eight's kind of looking a little better, if we can break it actually, and then come down and bounce off the 50, that will actually be a pretty good thing. Um, again, RSI, MACD, and volume actually do look pretty good, right? So, and we still haven't, we still haven't had a real big break in volume. You can see the one that we did brought a nice candle. So if this can get volume, this could be real good. Um, man, honestly, I'm gonna set the alert for just over it. Let me know, let me know how you start. Are you gonna break 570 in the morning? Let me know. Um, again, not an automatic intent to buy. So this is, a, this is an interesting chart we're gonna look at right here, okay? Obviously, we're under the eight for one, two, three, four weeks, right? I like the fact that these are kind of going up and look, I don't know the math behind what the MACD does, okay? I like that the MACD just kind of shot up real hard like that, okay? There's also no red, so I'm imagining since it started here, this is one, two, three, four, we need average nine. So we still have another five weeks before the red line comes, right? I don't know if the red line's up here, if the red line's down here, but I like the green line going up, that's going up and hey, hopefully volume by the end of the week kind of comes to this 10 million, right? But like I said earlier, we still haven't had any good volume this week. If we can get some good volume, it might run and honestly breaking the, the 100 here might be that good volume bringer, right? So um, this is definitely well worth the watch. And I'm, I'm really surprised that we are now so many tickers deep and we're actually seeing some pretty positive just there's a lot of positivity here. It's, it's interesting. Um, G-Tech, okay, so look. Okay, I'm gonna start with volume here because this is definitely on the lower side of volume, right? This is only 32,000. Generally, we're kind of looking around the 100,000. There was a video where I said buy into three millions, right? Volume is king and make sure you know how to use it and know the stock that you're in when you're using it, okay? 
what's happening here a lot's happening right this thing just can't get over the 50 just yet but it's trying its best okay you can see that this 219 line matters a lot but all i'm really seeing is a lot of horizontal trading okay if volume spikes up it'll be crazy if volume spikes down it could really suck right and you can see we're definitely trading in this channel of 219 and 190 give or take i'm glad we're at least on the higher side of it but just i i don't like this cluster of moving averages obviously the hundreds up here and you break that 50 and it's a beautiful trade up to right there right which what looks like very little resistance in all honesty maybe something around 230 Four, and it looks like we've at least wicked it once. I'll put a line right there just to have it. But again, if you lose 190, sorry to zoom out so much, there's there's 170 and 140 very, very quickly below it. I kind of should have done that on the weekly. But um, yeah, there's reason to believe we might make a move up, right? Either to this 234, maybe this around this 250 thing. Because again, if you break this line, super easy gap filter right there, right? Um, not that anything's super easy and guaranteed. But again, volume will be king here, okay? It needs volume to really break out and then it'll need volume the day after to legitimately hold, okay? So just be careful here. Weekly, interesting weekly, I will say that, but again, one more time. There was a point where there was about 4 million shares being traded. We've now dropped to about 110. Again, during the week, right? So. There's been a lot less volume here. If volume comes, things change, okay? Let me go to the daily before I do this. So we have a few left. I'm going super slow, my apologies. Okay, Nikola, damn, this does not look good and you can see it already, right? And I, the, the 20, it's all about the 20 right now. And this is one of those moments where honestly, I'm gonna stop caring a little bit about the eight, break the 20 for me to just legitimately consider you, right? Um, Hey, I, and then from there, obviously, we haven't even tested the 50 yet, right? So real smart money would just really wait for hits. Because look, from here, there's a nice fill all the way up to here, right? Will it be quick? I don't necessarily want to say quick, but that's a little bit, that's obviously a bigger distance than that distance right there, right? So um, Nikola, still a lot of worry of the 20. And honestly, we haven't even tested the 50. So yeah, like you see here, we might have a nice little 50-20 break, uh, sorry, tw uh, 28 break, but yeah, the 50 is still gonna be the next worry, right? Not a good weekly. We haven't even started curving up yet, right? It looked like there was a little bit of a test to try to break it, but yeah, we're, we're heading down. This is probably, um, on the Tesla side as, as one of the worst ones we've seen here. Uh, Rivian, 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 Rivian. Damn, just a lot of going down. I'll go ahead and just draw another line here. But again, this has to be an all-time lows. Yeah, for sure. It's an all-time lows. Um, the last thing you want is just to be in all time lows. And I know this was a hundred dollar stock back in the day, but no one cares about back in the day, unless you're a technical analysis person, right? All I'm really looking at is so much selling or a little buy, a little buy, right? Like no one is in this anymore. Right. And really there were a lot of moments to know that, right? Are there going to be some swing moments? Yeah, like we've seen in other ones, right? There might be a minute where it like tries to break the eight and make its way here. Do I sincerely believe this is going to get over these two lines anytime soon? Not at all. I really, really don't. There's, I, I just, I see this happening again here. Okay. And I realize it seems like there's been so much pain and how much worse can it get? Literally someone at one point bought it at 170 and I have no idea if this person sold yet or not. Right. But, um, there's, there's definitely, there's still $16 and 56 cents it could lose. Right. I am not implying it's going to zero. I definitely see Rivian trucks driving around in LA. I don't see Mullen trucks, Mullen cars, but I know I see the volume on Mullen. Right. And I know 24 sounds high, right? Definitely higher than some of the other ones, but Hey, if everyone's selling, right, it, it is what it is. So not a lot of good here. I think we looked at the weekly already. Yeah. I mean, this is all time lows looking is no bueno here. I, uh, I I wish you well if you were here. 
VLDR, interesting. Okay, and look, this goes kind of back to why I start to not care about the eight once things get really, really bad. This thing's at all time lows. It's well, 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 well struggling, right? I mean, it's actually seemingly been a really long time since that 50s been, I mean, there was a good moment right here, I guess, and it's kind of tried to do it again right here, but that 50 is definitely a struggle line right there for us. Obviously, once it kind of even got over the 50, we barely even talked about the 100. There was only one test there, and that, that goes back to just what I say, right? Like. It's better to be over the lines and not even have to worry about them than fighting through them. From there, if you're gonna fight through them, at least hopefully the gap's gonna be nice enough to, you know, make it worth the struggle, right? So just depends how you trade. But yeah, this is a bad weekly. It's been a whole mess at one. It's been a month under the eight, definitely well, well into all time lows. This, this should be no surprise, right? So um, I would be staying away. All right, solo, you're trying to make a move over the eight. I wish this candle was just a little better. There is a whole mess of red to gap fill all the way to here, right? So there should be a nice little move to eight. Um, I'm gonna set an alert for right here. I would like to know, yes, sorry. I would like to know if we can get over that line. And again, if we get over that line, I'm hoping we just kind of fill that right there to here. Do I sincerely believe we're gonna break this? Again, maybe we might come to this line, right? Maybe the 86, but no, I don't think we're gonna capture this, right? I don't, I just think we're still in all-time lows here, um, getting a good little all-time low bounce. And look, this RSI was in the single digits, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, for sure. See, I mean, look, there were some in the threes that like, there were points where things are literally oversold, right? And there's gonna be a rebound, but do I think this thing's, I just, you know, I'm, I'm super pessimistic here. And hey, if it gives me reason to, I won't stop for sure. I think that'll probably start a little closer to 50, but even after the 50, when was the last time we were really over the 100, right? Yeah, the 100's been a quick minute. 100's been for sure a quick, since this right here, right? So. Um, yeah, a lot of reason to believe it's gonna get hard to get over all these. And really, this is just the first two days that we've been over for one of the five, right? So just put it all in perspective. Again, not trying to bash on a stock by any means, right? So last on the list, not, last but not least, all right? That's what I was trying to say. We're a little deeper than 30 minutes. So what happened here, again, the eight moving average I know is generally my rule one, but when things get so bad, it moves up to the to the 20, right? Make your criteria a little harder. It should make your money a little safer. You know what I mean? But not too much to talk about here because it's actually the exact same comment from Solo, right? Do I think there might be a move here? Yeah, maybe. Do I think we might one day touch this? Yeah, I think it's still gonna be a while till we even test the 50 because we're still struggling with the 20 here, right? So. Um, a lot to be worried about, in all honesty. A, a more good stocks on this than I expected, just given how NASDAQ's looking. But um, yeah, be safe out there. I'll make this again next week. I sincerely appreciate your time. Hey, have a great one.